<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I am your host Mr. Munchies. Go ahead and hit that notification button now so you don't miss out on future videos and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you watch all the way through so you can get to some of the links to my other videos. Today's episode, I am going to be making some beef jerky. Uh, the recipe that I'm going to be using was given to me by my mystery guest that was given to her by one of her coworkers. So it's basically going to be uh, a recipe review as well. All right, so let's get uh, zoomed in and we will go over our ingredients. Look at all these ingredients we got. This is a quite in-depth recipe we got going on here, but there's gonna be a lot of flavor. So let's go over um, everything we have here. I've got two and a half pounds, roughly two and a half pounds of um, top round, which I've cut into about an eighth of an inch thick. Um, I don't want to grab it with my hand, so I'll show you a nice thin cut here. See how thin that is? And you want to make sure you use a, a good lean cut of meat because you don't want a lot of fat in your jerky. Alright, so uh, our first ingredients here, we have um, one cup of Worcestershire sauce. We have one, or excuse me, three quarters of a cup of teriyaki, half a cup of soy, we've got two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons of black pepper, two teaspoons of crushed red pepper, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of honey, and two tablespoons, or two teaspoons, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of maple syrup. So we're going to go ahead and get this combined in our bowl. Get all our ingredients in there. Make sure you get everything in there. Don't want to waste nothing. All right, our honey. Make sure we get all that out of our bowl. And our maple syrup. Now I'm just going to give this a quick whisk around. I'm sure that's pretty loud on the microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. And then we're just going to add our meat to it. Now this has to uh, marinate for 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and Put my meat in there, cover it up, put it in the fridge until tomorrow, and then uh, get it onto the dehydrator. Now, I just bought a dehydrator and did a unboxing video on that. It's the new, or it's new to me, uh, Hamilton Beach food dehydrator. So at the end of this video, I'll post a uh, a link to that on the screen so you can check that out. All right, so we got our meat in our marinade. Let's take a look at this. See if I can do it without spilling it on the floor. There we go. So I'm just going to toss this around a little bit, make sure everything's covered nice. Uh, get some plastic wrap on that and get it in the fridge overnight. 
So tomorrow, when it's all ready to go, I will be back with you and we will throw it on the dehydrator and then I believe that probably has to go for, I don't know, I haven't read the directions on the dehydrator yet, but I'm thinking at least 24 hours and then we'll uh, check out our end result. All right, so this is definitely going to be a, a spicy one with the cayenne pepper and the uh, black pepper and the, the crushed red pepper flakes. This is definitely going to be a spicy jerky, but I think later on, I'm probably now that I have the dehydrator, I'm going to do uh, some more uh, jerky recipes because they have a couple in the manual that comes with it. And um, I used to, many years ago when I made jerky before, um, had my own recipe, which was pretty simple. So, all right, there we go. We've got this in the bowl. I'm going to cover it, put it in the fridge, wait overnight, and then I will be back. So it'll be like that. All right, I've got the um, machine set up. It's plugged in, and I just wanted to run down the... Um, Operation of the machine, you have time and temperature right here. Up and down, start and pause. So you <clears throat> start out with your temperature. I'm going to set this at 160. Now I haven't put anything in this yet, I've just washed it off. And I'm going to run it just for a few minutes to get that newness out of it. Okay, uh, that was the temperature. We'll set our time. It goes up to 24 hours. Doesn't give you minutes, just hours. So, um, I press start. And you can hear the fan engage. And it is a little bit noisy. Um, it sounds like, uh, it sounds like an overhead fan on a stove. An exhaust fan. It's about as loud as it is. But it does have a, it has that new plastic smell, so I'm just going to let it run for a few minutes and get that smell out of there before I put the jerky in. Now the meat's been soaking for 24 hours, so I'm going to pull it out, put it on a rack, let it drip for a few minutes, and then throw it on the uh, machine here. And according to the book, it should only take anywhere from... Uh, I think it was four to six hours to dry. Now I think I said previously in the video I said 24 hours, but the machine that I had long, long time ago didn't have a fan in it. It was just a warming unit, so it would take me about 24 hours. Let me shut this off. Uh, yeah, it would take me 24 hours to make some jerky, so I'm going to... Uh, Follow the directions in the book. Go ahead and get some on here. And after, I don't know, six hours, I'll check it, see what it looks like. Um, you know, it's all going to, drying time is definitely going to depend on how thick your cuts are. So uh, we will just leave it at that for now. And um, once I get some jerky made, I'll come back and we will review the jerky, the machine, and the recipe. All right. So just hang in there. All right, we've got our beef jerky. It's been a couple days since I was able to get back to this, but um, I, I've eaten plenty of it. <laughs> Believe me, there's not much left. But the, uh, the dehydrator worked really well. Um, it was kind of noisy. We went to the fair as it was running, but uh, it took seven, seven hours to do this. Um, the recipe is really good. It's not as hot and spicy as I thought it was going to be, but I can tell you it tastes almost exactly like um, Jack Link's original uh, beef jerky, but it's it's really good. Um, so give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, the dehydrator, like I said, dehydrator worked really well. Of course, this was only my first time using it, so but. Uh, I will put a link to the unboxing of the food dehydrator over here. Uh, I will link something else over here. I will put the subscribe button about right here, so don't forget to push that. 
And um, yeah, so make some beef jerky. Give it a try. Give that recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to try some other um, jerky recipes, like I said earlier. So uh, that'll do it for another episode of Mostly From Scratch. I am your host, Mr. Munchies. So everybody plate up and chow down.